the plumber has been and done his first fixings now I've got to fill that hole with concrete and I want to get some concrete in under the wall because the wall doesn't have any foundations that's the old clay pipe there he's connected to, to new PVC pipe by that big rubber boot uh, there's an S bend there which will be for the channel drain that'll run there to catch the shower water that's drain for the bath itself uh, over here hot and cold pipe and drain for the vanity and they're inset into the wall to there so I can put a floating cabinet there and they won't be the pipes won't be seen uh, so they come out inside the cabinet and then they'll go up here to wherever the taps are eventually there will be the outlet for the water inlet outlet whatever you call it where the water comes into the bath the mixer will be here one of them to get your hot and cold right and the other one sends the water either to the bath or to the shower up here and I got him to put the outlet for the shower 75 mils taller than your, your standard because we're tall people in this house so that comes out of the wall there and then it will go up here and the shower head will be up high anyway so the next step is for me to fill that hole and and this one also the electrician is coming next uh, on saturday so in the meantime i've put this pipe in the hole going out under the wall to the outdoors where he can find some electricity and poke his electricity through there to run the spa bath on the back side of that hole in the bathroom is this groundwater soakage pit this pump lives in there and empties the uh, groundwater whenever it tops up little float makes it empty all by itself just trucks the water outside I'm going to make that deeper eventually but in the meantime I've just got to shore that up so the concrete from the bathroom doesn't come out here into the soakage hole That'll be good enough, I think. Jimmy Barr stuck in the ground and wedged in.
one bag. Just to make sure that this conduit works for the plumber, I'm going to try and get a piece of string to go through it. And I thought I would tie a tissue to one end, stick it in the pipe. And then the other end of the string is tied to a piece of string, a stick that can't go through. And hopefully if it doesn't knot up here, it will just, I can vacuum it from the other end. So let's see if that works. Cool. So now I'll leave that string in there and the plumber can pull his electrical cable through. Not the plumber, the electrician. I was thinking about this for a while and uh, procrastinated for a long time too. But I finally got into it this morning. See the floor in there was level. So if I want to slope it into the drain for the shower, means I've got to raise one at one side of the room. So what I thought I'd do with the hole not quite full yet, I will shave down some of the lip and then fill the hole not quite as high as it would normally have gone. Uh, and that way I can save some height on the far side but anyway I'm doing it in steps because you go in there and I'm grinding the floor with a round um, polishing wheel on an angle grinder and you can do about two or three minutes in there and then you can't see anymore I've even got a fan blowing on me and the windows open to let some dust out but it gets so bad in there you just can't see what you're doing so take it in little bites I've had two or three three grows at it so far I think so and I can see here I've got a gap here and a gap here so I need to do some work on the middle there give that 10 or 20 minutes to settle down again and then do the other section of the floor on the other side of the trench but uh, that's working out well I think that'll I'll be pleased I did that I think I could have kept going with that grinding for a while but it's near enough and it's way too messy to be involved in it so I've given up 
I uh, just 15 bags of concrete in the hole so far. I'm going to do some underpinning here now. Sorry I've not been in the mood or been inclined to video this as I go. So it's going to be a bit disjointed maybe. But it is what it is. It's hard work and I don't feel like filming and playing up to the camera when I'm doing st stuff that's that heavy. But anyway, I'm going to pack them in properly today got these boards here to give it some sort of form and then I've got maybe two or three more bags to fill that hole Another memory I have on a building site was when I was maybe eight or nine and my brother was 18 months younger and we were getting a hay barn built and uh, David who's now a project manager or in fact he's the manager of a team of project managers even back then he was managing the project, sort of, more or less. And the builders copped on to him. So they decided to wind him up. And they said, they said to David, Sure it's only an old f***ing hay barn, an old country job. And David said, well it better be the best country job you've ever done, boy. <laughs> uh. 